Nitco continues to offer its customers a diversified portfolio of solutions designed to drive business forward into the 21st century. Nitco is the first company in the Northeast to develop an integrated warehouse solution center that allows our customers to touch, feel, and operate the actual equipment from electric lift trucks to packaging equipment, mobile racks, robotics, and a wide variety of automated systems. Nico offers a variety of cutting edge technology supplied by multiple world-class companies and is not limited to specific manufacturers. This enables our professional team to work with our customers and design a plan for their business, utilizing the most appropriate solution that maximizes efficiency, productivity, and positively impacts your bottom line. Our integrated warehouse solution center gives our customers the ultimate advantage to see and use the latest in technology and build a total solution for their business. Come and experience the Integrated Warehouse Solution Center in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, and witness firsthand the innovations in our industry that will drive your business forward. We guarantee you will see something you didn't know existed. Customers are saving millions of dollars by breaking free from the high cost of liquid propane lift trucks with the Convert to Electric program from Enersys. The average liquid propane lift truck converted to electric will save a company $6,300 per year in fuel costs alone, resulting in significant cost savings for current liquid propane lift truck users. An international automotive supplier recently converted to electric lift trucks with Enersys and is now saving over $1 million per year in fuel expenses. When reduced maintenance costs of electric lift trucks are also considered, the savings opportunities become even greater. Since electric lift trucks have no radiators, transmissions, starter motors, engine oil, or engine filters to be maintained, the electric lift truck users will save an additional 40% in reduced maintenance costs. So break free from the high cost of operating liquid propane lift trucks with Enersys. Visit ConvertToElectric.com and see how much you can save. While each operation has its own set of demands, they all demand efficiency. So getting the job done takes thought, innovation, and the freedom to evolve. That's why the multitude of solutions Yale offers take a holistic view of your operations. From the nation's largest independent dealer network, to our experienced fleet team and application solution specialists, our comprehensive and creative approach gives us the edge in meeting your needs. Our people can help you use every inch of footprint Take advantage of flexible finance and lease terms and application-matched charging strategies to cut your costs significantly. By evolving to meet the specific demands of your operation, Yale can help you break free from inefficiencies and boost productivity. Break free with Yale. This is the SSI Logimat. It's a vertical lift system used for small parts storage and or picking operations. Simply put the train number in on the basic level software, train number three in this instance, and get tray. The system works with a rack and pinion drive on either side. So there's two rack and pinion drives in there. The extractor moves through the system, which is chain driven on the extraction out. On this machine we have a tilt function available which can tilt all trays or some trays in any particular machine. You can then pick the part required and with the tilt it's ergonomic to use. 
on return, you simply press the tray return and the tray will then return back to its original place. This system has two types of storage capacity. It's got fixed storage location in which you designate particular parts of the machine to a particular height, or we have IHO, which is Intelligent Height, height Optimization, which allows you to put variable height parts into variable parts of the machine which is then decided upon the machine software on where is the most suitable place for that article to go. If you wanted to pick by part, you can simply do that either by manually putting that in yourself or simply on a barcode operation in which you put the individual part in. In this case, we will put in a brick. What the screen will then show you is a visual display of what the tray looks like when it arrives to the access opening. So a cross indicates a location with a part in and the highlighted yellow block indicates the position on where the blue brick, in this case, is situated. And as the tray is extracted from the machine, you can then see that the blue brick is in the top left hand corner. The variable safety features on the machine, you can either have a light curtain which is on the front of the machine or this is a, a platform sensitive, so if you put weight on that platform there, the machine will simply cut out. In order to give you an ergonomic pick face, the picking platform is adjustable. Simply change the height that you wish to pick from and then the platform then adjusts itself up. You can either set that to operator or by tray.
we suggested uh, electric lift trucks to Atlantic Plywood uh, because of the new indoor-outdoor electric lift truck technology that uh, became prevalent over the last four or five years. It compared favorably to the internal combustion operating characteristics that they were used to, and that was really the driver that precipitated a further conversation to, uh, to introduce electrics into their, into their fleet. The travel speed is equal at 11 and a half miles an hour. Uh, the lift speed is 100 feet uh, per minute. So that gave them the comfort that they needed to progress forward. And the rest was really just financial justification after that, that they just needed to know that they could have the same productivity level. When we began this whole process, we asked Alan Hammersley over at NITCO to give us a hand. Uh, let us know what the costs were, the ease of ownership, what the specifications were and could it do the job. It was very easy working with Alan and Nitco, and it was a pleasant experience overall. In our industry, there's some very heavy products we need to move around, and for that, we need a forklift with adequate power, and something that'll do the job for an eight-hour shift. In addition, our warehouse workers have to operate these uh, with ease of control and precise movements. We found that the battery-powered forklifts provide all that, and the pleasant surprise was we had a very quiet warehouse as a result, along with a lot cleaner warehouse. The soot from the propane uh, would generate, would uh, get on the products and on the floor, but with, we didn't have that problem with the battery-powered forklift. Our experience has been uh, a, a good one with these forklifts. Uh, they're easy to operate, uh, they're very user-friendly, uh, they save us money on repairs and maintenance, uh, they save us a lot of money on the propane. Uh, we burn $3,000 a year on the propane tanks, that savings is uh, realized on each and every one of them. In the New England region, uh, seven out of every ten industrial trucks sold has a battery in it. Uh, so it really is trending uh, in that direction. Uh, over the last ten years, with the advent of the technology um, that manufacturers produce now for electric lift trucks, the performance is now the same as internal combustion. So now that we've overcome that hurdle, uh, people are now looking squarely at the energy savings, which is the big driver. And uh, second from there would be maintenance savings and then all the other environmental aspects. So it's a very compelling story today. Our, our business model as a dealership is now based primarily around electric lift trucks and selling electric lift trucks. We call C to E, convert to electric.
the home of the New England Super Bowl champions. 200 materials handling professionals came to see the region's Heister Yale dealer team, NITCO, throw some winning plays at NITCO Innovate. This event showcased solutions by the dealer's premier partners, such as all-in fuel cell solutions for fast fuel power in electric lift truck applications. Hydrogen generation, hydrogen delivery, fuel cell power, and service. NICO Innovate really highlights that hydrogen solutions for materials handling equipment are ready now with multiple offerings available through Heister and Yale, two of the world's leading lift truck brands. These offerings include on-site hydrogen generators and fueling stations, smaller scale hydrogen electrolyzers with dispensers, mobile hydrogen refuelers, and fuel cell systems for counterbalance forklifts, narrow aisle lift trucks, and motorized hand trucks. Once fleet managers see that it takes only a couple of minutes to refuel a forklift with hydrogen, the productivity boost associated with fuel cells becomes immediately apparent. My name is Bruce Kennedy, I'm the uh, Director of Loss Prevention and Logistics for the Stu Leonard's Company. Well, Stu Leonard's uh, has been deemed the Disneyland of dairy stores. Uh, back in 1969, we started off with a limited amount of square footage, um, a few half gallons of milk and seven employees. 42 years later, we have four locations within Connecticut and New York, and we have over 2,400 employees, and we service about seven million customers a year. Part of my responsibilities are to um, tend to the, the warehousing aspect of the business. We've chosen the Heister lifts. Um, we did our due diligence and we took a look at some of the data out there and spoke to some of our peers. And in addition to reliability, one of the things that you know really differentiated Heister from everybody else was the dedication to customer service. Um, Stu Leonard's is a customer service oriented operation. Uh, so we would expect that from our vendors as well and we've developed a um, significant partnership with Heister. We utilize the, uh, the Heister um, H50s and E35s. We found that they're very, very reliable units. Um, they fit within our facilities and the, um, the amount of downtime or service time is very, very minimum. Some of the challenges that we face are directly attributed to volume because of the size of our warehouses and because of the influx uh, of the volume that we get into the back doors. So the product has to come through the back door very, very quickly and because of, of freshness standards and everything else, the uh, product has to go to the sales floor as quickly as possible. Our account reps um, and our service technicians have been A1. Any concern or any needs that we have, all we have to do is just pick up the phone and you know, they'll respond to those needs as quickly as possible. We expect that the equipment um, works as hard as, as our team members within the warehouse and Heister fits that bill.
my name is Eric Barlow and I'm the maintenance manager here at Obishan Hardware. We're a family-owned retail hardware store founded in 1908, uh, operating in New England and New York. We have 124 uh, family-run hardware stores. We sell things like snow blowers and hammers and nails and screws and all the things you'd expect to find in plumbing products and uh, Benjamin Moore paint and all the things you'd expect to find in a family-run hardware store. This is our main distribution center here in Westminster, Massachusetts. This is a 400,000 square foot uh, building. We service our hardware stores from here and we're essentially receiving freight in, picking orders and then sending them to our stores. We have 145 Yale uh, MPB electric pallet jacks. Uh, we chose those specifically because uh, they turn in our trailers and the ability to turn that pallet jack with the freight in the trailer was very important. The pallet jacks in particular at the store level are very valuable. Uh, they really prevent uh, work-related injuries. Uh, we have uh, men and women who work at our hardware stores and to move the heavy freight around with a manual pallet jack like the old days, uh, injuries are just waiting to happen where the electric pallet jack uh, and the Yale in particular has been super. Then there is the, uh, the ESC stand-up forklift uh, specific uh, to our operation because of our, our rack width, the aisles are 10 and a half feet, so the Yale ESC fits into that aisle width and can uh, put freight away in the racks. And then we also use the Yale GLC and GLP forklift, uh, which is the propane forklift, uh, for the pallet pick operation, uh, which are the bulk goods. All of our operators are so familiar with the Yale product that uh, it's always a seamless transition when they get onto a new lift. Uh, the controls are, uh, are in a familiar spot, they just operate really well. We maintain our own forklifts uh, and pallet trucks here. Uh, they require very little maintenance. Uh, the parts are availability is very good and very little downtime. The dealer support has been outstanding uh, and it's just been a very good relationship with uh, Obishan and Yale and the local dealer. Yale has been very good uh, mechanically and has always been a very good value. Uh, so when we uh, price shop and uh, comparative shop, it, we uh, always found Yale to be a very good value. The Yale forklifts have been very reliable. We have some forklifts that are 30 years old and running strong, uh, and the, the downtime has been very little. I would recommend a Yale because of the value, the longevity, and uh, the reliability. My name's Alias Potsis. I'm uh, the Senior Vice President of Warehouse and Delivery for the Martinetti Companies, uh, leading wholesaler distributor in uh, New England, and seventh largest in the country. We mainly deal with wine and spirits, and we have 80 to 90 units of Yale equipment today. When I arrived here and the company was growing, it was obvious to me that we needed to go in a different direction. There was odd equipment in here at that time that the company had acquired. We met with Nitco, the local Yale distributor, because uh, we like the Yale trucks, we like the Yale equipment, and also having the Yale technicians in-house training some of our staff, which was one or two people at that time, on the basics, uh, proved to be a very beneficial and it was a win-win situation uh, all along. The Yale brand was the brand that we decided to go with uh, moving forward in this facility and all of our locations as we grew. And that's when we established the, uh, the partnership that we enjoy today. Everything has to click in order for us to meet the deadlines that our customers expect. Very critical that we have um, our equipment serviced properly, timely, and not have that become a cumbersome part of our operation Basically, we shook hands and they said this could be a win-win situation if we do it right. And fortunately, uh, it worked. And that's what we did. And here we are today, 12 years later almost, enjoying each other's company. We view them as our co-workers, highly skilled co-workers when they come in. You know, this is a unionized building, never had a problem, never had an issue. They work side by side with our technicians and our people. and. Uh, we're very pleased with the durability of the Yale brands, again, at the service that we're getting. So 
Tony DeFrya, Operations Manager, Homans Associates, Inc. Homans Associates started back in 1952 by James A.P. Homans. Came back from the service in 52, uh, decided he wanted to try something different. He was building refrigeration boxes, which takes us up to today. We have all kinds of air conditioning parts, pieces. Homans Associates itself employs about 130 people, 13 different locations, including corporate. This is our central distribution location. Uh, we ship to like 12, you would say, like a sub-branch or branch. We ship to uh, them on a every other day basis. And then we service our customers in a Boston area from this location uh, with our deliveries that start at about 4 o'clock in the morning. Our drivers leave at 4 in the morning to make deliveries into Boston and surrounding areas from this area. At this facility, we have about 20 different Yale trucks. We have uh, order selectors. We got about seven or eight order selectors in order to pick the stuff up high. We have fork trucks to unload the trucks with and put away. We have squeeze trucks. We have probably three or four squeeze trucks to unload pipe covering, unload wrap. It squeezes it together and it goes from there. All our units are Yale with the exception of one. We have a good company that services them for us. We establish a relationship with Northland Industrial Truck. They seem to be, uh, you know, we've, we've, we've become partners with each other. I started dealing with Nick O'Donnell probably 1996. Uh, we've started opening facilities. They've gave us ideas on how to rack them. We've used them to basically model what we've started with. We buy the same type of rack all the time. We set them up all the time. We lease the same type of vehicles in all our locations as this one here. So it's like, a turnkey operation. Once we've got it set, we go from there. Service they give us is, uh, well, we call them today. If it's an emergency, they're here today. If not, if it's something that's a normal service, they'll come the next day or something like that. All our PMs are done through them. They set it up like every 90 days. It's automatic. They come in, they take care of the trucks. They let us know where the problems are, where we're going to have problems. We try to head it off that way. It's usually the same serviceman that comes into each facility so they know the vehicle easy to operate. Like I say, there's no problems with them. They've never had issues with them. Pretty much maintenance free. And when there is a problem, they come down and they take care of it. It's helped us expand our business. We're not concerned about what we receive, what we ship out, what we can carry, what we can't carry, because there seems to be a product for all the products that we sell. There's a Yale product that will take care of it. Go for it. Absolutely go for it. No, no issues. Like I've said, we've, we've been doing them now for almost 15 years, 16 years. Never had a major issue with them. My name is Fernando Rodriguez. I'm the Assistant Director of QCC Operations. Legal Seafood was started by George Berkowitz back in 1950. It's a family-owned business. Uh, it started out as a place with picnic tables where you'd go get your fish and chips and stuff. And uh, it's actually grown into this, what it is today. Right now, it's uh, one of the premier seafood restaurants in the country. We have uh, 32 restaurants that span from uh, Massachusetts to Florida. As we say, we're a fish company in the restaurant business. My responsibilities here at Legal Seafoods are the overall maintenance of the plant itself, refrigeration, HVAC, electrical, fire alarm systems. I'm also responsible for the transportation of the product up and down the East Coast to all the uh, different restaurants we have. This plant runs seven days a week, 364 days a year. Uh, those run about eight hours per day. The biggest challenge we have here is the atmosphere in which these Yales work in. Um, it's very cold, wet, damp. That is our biggest issue, is the wetness of the environment. And as I said, these Yales, they stand up very well in this environment. You know, the, the bearings on the wheels, uh, as long as they're maintained as they are, uh, they, held up, they hold up very well. We found that with the maintenance program that we have, we're getting an extra, I'd say, two years out of these Yales. I don't have jacks that are actually sitting in a corner waiting to be fixed. They're, they're constantly all running. Uh, before we uh, went to the Yales here, we, we had major problems with the lifts. And um, since I've gone to the Yale lifts with Nitco, it, it's been a great improvement for us here. Yale lifts have positively impacted my business on the sheer fact that now they're, they're, they're staying running. My guys aren't running around looking for a jack that's actually operating. And from that, it's saving me time. I believe it's saving me money. It's speeding up the process.
My name is Herman Long. Everybody calls me Butch uh, for obvious reasons. Been that way for years. I started out with Rennies 20 years ago as a, a lugger and jugger in, uh, in the warehouse moving freight around and I've worked myself up to distribution center manager. Rennies is a family owned and operated department store chain. Uh, we have 15 stores and we handle everything, clothing, shoes, our footwear, some grocery products, canned goods primarily, chips, that kind of thing, you name it. Here in the distribution center, we operate five days a week, Monday through Friday. We receive anywhere from 80 to, to 120, 130 pallets of, of merchandise a day through local carriers and over-the-road haulers, as well as uh, merchandise from FedEx, and UPS, and local delivery guys that, that are delivering merchandise out of their truck because we sell a lot of products that are, are locally manufactured, and we push freight. We try and get it out to the stores. I, like I say, we have 15 stores, and they all get a truck every day. I have a, an order picker, uh, which takes a pallet and goes up and you can go down the row and pull by case. Uh, the MPV-40s, those are our, our electric pallet jacks. Like I say, I've got eight of them. They're, they're never down. They're, they're always up and operating. If I need information, you know, like we're getting ready to do an expansion. I want to find out what's the best way to, to, to put the racking in. What do I need equipment-wise? I can call my sales rep. He meets with his people. He provides me with the information. They're always ready and, and willing to, to aid and do whatever we need. Uh, if we have a, uh, an equipment casualty or we, we're having a problem with a piece of equipment, they'll come out, they'll analyze the situation, they'll fix it right there on the spot and put it back in line. Specifically, the product is, is great. It, it does not break down. Uh, I attribute a lot of that to the, the, the maintenance. You, you get on it, it goes. Uh, you need it, it's, it's there. All the equipment is that way. It does just it does not fail. I don't know how else to explain it. My name is Bruce Kennedy, I'm the uh, Director of Loss Prevention and Logistics for the Stu Leonard's company. Well, Stu Leonard's uh, has been deemed the Disneyland of dairy stores. Uh, back in 1969, we started off with a limited amount of square footage, um, a few half gallons of milk and seven employees. 42 years later, we have four locations within Connecticut and New York, and we have over 2,400 employees, and we service about seven million customers a year. Part of my responsibilities are to um, tend to the, the warehousing aspect of the business. We've chosen Heister lifts. Um, we did our due diligence and we took a look at some of the data out there and spoke to some of our peers. And in addition to reliability, one of the things that you know really differentiated Heister from everybody else was the dedication to customer service. Um, Stu Leonard's is a customer service oriented operation. Um, so we would expect that from our vendors as well and we've developed a um, significant partnership with Heister. We utilize the, uh, the Heister um, H50s and E35s. We found that they're very, very reliable units. Um, they fit within our facilities and the, um, the amount of downtime or service time is very, very minimum. Some of the challenges that we face are directly attributed to volume because of the size of our warehouses and because of the influx uh, of the volume that we get into the back doors. So the product has to come through the back door very, very quickly and because of, of freshness standards and everything else, the uh, product has to go to the sales force as quickly as possible. Our account reps um, and our service technicians have been A1. Any concern or any needs that we have, all we have to do is just pick up the phone and you know, they'll respond to those needs as quickly as possible. We expect that the equipment um, works as hard as, as our team members within the warehouse and Heister fits that bill.
The word I would use to describe NITCO would be passionate, and that spans across all of our employees, whether it's the employees out on the road helping our customers, the sales reps and the technicians, or our admin support team here. Everybody here really truly cares about the customers, about each other, and what we do here as a company, and I think that passion shows through for everything we do every day. We're really involved in really satisfying the customer and getting them exactly what they need and not just trying to you know, push out a piece of equipment just because we have that line. We're so diversified in what we do, we can really be that one-stop shop for somebody. We have six locations, so we have the ability to service all six New England states, although we do go beyond the six New England states. But uh, each facility is a full-service facility, which makes us unique. So we have sales, service, parts, rentals at each one of our locations. We do a lot of business with skid steers, compact excavators, full-size excavators, compact wheel loaders, pretty much any industry that you would use heavy equipment or compact equipment, that's who we deal with. Our closest competitor is six to eight units. We have 23 you know, on the dynamic side, 50 on the static side. We have a large service department. We have a large sales department. We keep a lot of equipment in stock. We basically take everything that happens in the material handling industry and we have the ability to offer some form of a solution for all aspects. If a customer is in need and a machine goes down, Nick is the type of company that they'll lend you a machine to, to get you by until uh, we can get your machine up and running and fixed. The one thing you're really forging is trust and that when you have a company that's behind you, that's very important. If I know as a company NITCO provided some form of a solution that was able to provide exponentially for that company and pay for whatever they bought from us. That's what makes me satisfied, is knowing that we did the right thing for that customer. We need to make this the best provider of whatever solution we're given to that customer so they feel like, I, I can't call anybody else, it's NITCO. At NITCO, we're moving forward to stay ahead.